Hey people, I regret to inform you that Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes has been cancelled or more officially has officially not been renewed for a third season, which sucks. It will be replaced by a new Avengers show though called Avengers Assemble, but I'll talk about that later. For now, let's focus on Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. When I found out about this, I was really ticked off from Marvel Studios, and I don't like to cuss my videos, so I'm not going to. I won't say anything bad towards them, but, you know, I will say that I'm very disappointed about this, because these past few years, Marvel Animation has just been making these really frustrating, annoying decisions that just seem stupid. It started with Spectacular Spider-Man, but that was kind of understandable. It was a great show, but the rights belonged to Sony before, and they went back to Marvel, so I guess with some kind of legality and stuff, they couldn't continue the show with the way that things were. I don't fully understand it, but they had a reason for it, a concrete reason. But then, they canceled Wolverine and the X-Men out of the blue, and there was, like, no reason for that. Marvel had the rights to that the whole time, and the show was... Good. It was a solid show, and they just pulled the plug on that without giving us any reason whatsoever. So that ticked off a lot of people. It ticked me off. And so we lost both of those great shows, and they announced that they were going to be replacing Spectacular Spider-Man with Ultimate Spider-Man. So it was kind of like, okay, let's see how this goes. And Ultimate Spider-Man was supposed to be based on the comic. That's how they kind of promoted it to the fans are like, yeah, we're kind of using Ultimate Spider-Man as a basis for this, but Ultimate Spider-Man feels nothing like the Ultimate Spider-Man comic. It's not a good show. So Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes was like the last good Marvel animated series on TV, and now it's the same thing that's happening again. They've got a good show, and they just cancel it for no real reason. I mean, there's a decent fan base out for this show, a lot of people who like it, it's got good reviews, and they've got good stories to tell, and it looks like it had a lot of steam left. I mean, they kept introducing new characters, wasn't feeling like it was getting old or anything, and now they're pulling the plug on it, and it feels just like what happened with Spectacular Spider-Man. We are promised a new show, and you know, I'll give Avengers Assemble a chance. We don't know who how that's going to turn out, so I'll give it a chance, but I'm skeptical because of the way things that turned out with Ultimate Spider-Man. I mean, they had a great show there, they, they canceled that, and what they replaced it with, it didn't seem like they looked at the older show at all. They didn't look at Spectacular Spider-Man, its predecessor, to see, what did this show do well? What can we take from that and then improve from there? No, I mean, Ultimate Spider-Man has good animation, I'll give it that, but the writing... The entire style of it, everything else, is inferior to Spectacular Spider-Man. They didn't build off that and improve. They just kind of ignored it, threw it out the window, and were like, hey, let's do something different. Let's try to figure out something new. And I can understand why they want to try to go somewhere new when you've got so many Spider-Man cartoons in the past and you want to stick out from that. But really... It's kind of hypocritical because at the same time they're trying to appeal to these young kids who haven't seen all these older Spider-Man shows. They weren't there in the 90s when the that animated series was going on. I was a big fan of that when I was a little kid and it was more mature than Ultimate Spider-Man was. So I don't know why they feel that they have to kind of dumb their shows down and make these like very silly kind of things to appeal to kids. And honestly... That's kind of my worry for where they're going to be with Avengers Assemble, because the talk has been that they want to make an Avengers show that fits in more with Ultimate Spider-Man, and to do that, I feel like, to make it feel like it's part of that world, things have to be a little bit sillier. Like, I saw a little bit of the Hulk that was in Ultimate Spider-Man, and that Hulk is a little is sillier than the Hulk that's on Avengers or Sony series. I mean, it's not like an overtly comedic Hulk, but you can't really take the Hulk as seriously as a character as you could on Earth Minus Heroes. Earth Minus Heroes wasn't like this very dark, serious show. It had its comedic moments, but it was still something that you could watch if you're older than eight years old and enjoy it. Whereas Ultimate Spider-Man, I feel like when I'm watching that, I just kind of, kind of gave up on the show because when I watch it, I feel like I'm forcing myself to watch it. 
Whereas Earth's Mightiest Heroes is the kind of thing you can watch and it's like, this is a good story. This is legitimately good. I don't feel ridiculous being a grown person watching this show. So, yeah, I'm worried about this and this new show. And I'm ticked off that we're losing Earth's Mightiest Heroes because they have this whole secret invasion storyline going on right now. They've kind of teased a Civil War storyline that would be coming in the future because they kind of did the registration thing. They talked about that a little bit. So they definitely had a lot of places they could go with it. And Earth Minus Heroes is a show that really kind of looks at the comics a lot for their storyline. They look at the early comics, they look at the new comics. So they are doing some great things there. Which is kind of like what Spectacular Spider-Man did. Spectacular Spider-Man pulled from a lot of sources. I mean, you could see pictures from like old Spider-Man comics and see that, hey, they pulled exactly from this. And if you're a longtime fan of Spider-Man, it's rewarding. That's not what they did with Ultimate Spider-Man. Like, I don't get that sense of, wow, yay, this is really kind of something that as a fan they are trying to do something for me here it doesn't feel like they care about the fans at all which is just the problem with marvel studios animation right now they just are kind of not really paying attention to the hardcore fans the people who are supportive of them and are the first ones to kind of be looking out for these new shows like i wanted to like ultimate spider-man a lot I gave it a chance, and I was like, okay, maybe this first episode wasn't so good, maybe this next episode will be better, and I just gave up on it, because it's like, okay, obviously they're not trying to make a really great product here, they're just trying to cater to little kids, I mean, they've got this spider cycle, which is obviously to sell toys or something, and, I mean... I don't mean to be overly critical of Ultimate Spider-Man, but I feel like it represents the kind of attitude that they're taking towards their TV products right now. So, uh, it's frustrating. I mean, I will give Avengers Assemble a chance. Hopefully it's a good show. Hopefully they do build off of Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes to make a better show from that. Because, I mean, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes wasn't perfect. It was a great show, in my opinion. And they could improve from that. But just the way that they handled Ultimate Spider-Man makes me very doubtful that they will take that and say, Okay, what did this show do well? What can we do to please the fans of that show and make them feel like they haven't completely lost the show that they loved? So, yeah, that's my take on this whole situation. Very kind of disappointed in this. Very skeptical about this new show that they've got coming.